What is up guys, this is Vengeance Plays here bringing you guys another video and it has been a minute since I've done a video like this one. I mean, I did do a gameplay video, but this is a discussion video about my life. So why don't we go ahead and get, give you guys an idea of what's going on with me and what's going to happen later um, on this channel. So, hey, when it comes to life, life catches up with you. There is nowhere to run because you cannot outrun life unless you are the Flash and you are not him. We are not him. So that answers that. So 10 or so years ago, I had a ton of time on my hands, which was, you know, doing a bunch of simple jobs, you know, no career oriented job, plenty of time to mess around. You know, way back when, you know, I worked as a substitute teacher for a couple years, then went from that to a store clerk, from a store clerk to a teacher's aide for another couple of years and then wind up working as a janitor as well. You know, I had very few responsibilities as I learned how to do a number of things related to social media, such as making videos, and later learning about the wonderful world that is live streaming and i met many friends along the way dealt with quite a few difficult people you know moved from one community to another you know i, I literally went from what was it anime gaming to doing fgc related stuff you know like fighting games and all that good stuff and then moved over to the nintendo side of things and i was literally like a nomad going from place to place searching for a place to settle down and create content peacefully <laughs> at least until youtube gaming became a shell of its former self which sucked I mean, because YouTube gaming used to be lit, especially when I learned about live streaming, because YouTube gaming really did support streamers back then. And it didn't matter what size you were either. Um, so I wound up moving on to try other things and people didn't vibe too well with that ideas. I mean, that idea and I extremely underestimated the power of personal preference for, for uh, YouTube, you know. But I had to do what I felt was right for me, and I tried other streaming platforms to expand. I believed in the whole idea of not putting all of your eggs in one basket. And the results were good for a time, but you know how it is when it comes to that dreaded M word, the Mooney. You know, money really does have a way of making corporations um, reduce their platforms to a uh, heaping pile of donkey doo-doo. I can't say the other word. <laughs> Making platforms less and less attractive. Um, you know, like, if, for example, YouTube gaming was so great on YouTube at one point, and then they YouTube ruined that. Twitch had a great thing going on with... Uh, you know, rewarding free bits to viewers that they could use to give to their fam their favorite streamers. And then, you know, Twitch suffered from ad apocalypse and uh, Twitch had staff members that were just a bunch of simps. And we're not going to discuss anything more about that, but just know every platform has their highs and lows, you know, every platform. So with all that said, you know, looking back at all the things that happened, I became frustrated. You know, I tried everything and it seemed like every time something good happens, something fails. And some half of that stuff was beyond my control. Um, I even felt my personal opinions clouded my judgment. And I developed the tendency to make empty promises, which ultimately led to my own downfall. So in that regard, that was nobody else's fault but my own. And I'll leave it at that, <laughs> you know, but that's life. You got to live and learn. Therefore, I decided to stop being stupid 
and focus more on myself because here's the thing about social media it's going to still be here there's no telling when social media will end but the one thing that would never end is your life as long as you are breathing and standing on silent i mean not silent standing on solid ground so i started by working two jobs for the past few years and now well i am a full-time teacher and uh it's quite the challenging and stressful job well at least the first few weeks of the job were stressful i mean you know a new career path obviously that's going to be stressful due to the fact that you're learning so many new things the moment that you learn one new thing and you think you got a grasp on it something else is thrown at you and then another thing is thrown at you to learn and another thing is thrown at you to learn and then you have the expectations of the people around you and all of that kind of like fuels your desire to do well but then you become fearful at the same time so it was just a gigantic cloud of emotion powerful emotion the pain the uh, the sadness the grit oh it was just a lot so Fortunately enough, you know, when I got down to the end of the first quarter and there was the pe uh, parent-teacher conferences, they went quite well, and I felt less stressed about what I'm currently doing. You know, I often wondered about the decisions that I've made. Did I make the right choice? Um, if something doesn't go well, I become even more fearful, and then there's this development of self-doubt and self-doubt is that thing that's hard to push away sometimes especially if you're doing something completely new and with that said i think that is one of the things that i'm working on learning to just push the self-doubt away and just go with the flow and do what you can because uh, you can't fix everything and that's one of the things that I have to come to grips with so with that said I'm currently back but I'm not making empty promises uh, you know I'm just going to be straight up with you I don't know what I'm going to do with this channel you know I'm just going to make videos and stream when I can and see what happens you know I started this as a hobby and I plan to start treating treating it as such again. Um, I feel like when I was doing well with all the social media stuff a couple years back, like five years or so back, you know, I felt like I was moving away from a hobby and more towards trying to make it some kind of potential dream job i don't know what the fudge i was thinking i guess i was trying to make it into something more and things didn't work out and you know that's the reality of it sometimes it's just not going to go your way and you know i just don't have the time to commit to stuff like that and to be honest you know when i tried turning it into something more than a hobby it just became another freaking job and it's like the fun kind of like was being drained from the live streaming so i think turning something into turning a hobby into something more just burned me out and i never wanted to admit that i even made videos about it and still really didn't fully admit it i would say yeah i'm burning out but i'm going to keep grinding i'm going to keep pushing i'm going to climb those stairs like freaking rocky no nah, that that was highly unrealistic especially at my age i'm no spring chicken <laughs> so i simply plan to stream and make videos when i can on this channel you know uh i would just like to thank those of you that are still supporting me despite another long absence from me because you know what i feel really bad you know i always say I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, and then I vanish for a couple of months, then I'm back again, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, and then I vanish again, but you know, you can't, life is unpredictable, 
you never know what's going to get thrown your way and some changes could really um, have a lasting impact on what you can and cannot do you know so I guess it's just one of these things that I have to deal with yet again so you know I'm just gonna do what I can make a video when I can stream when I can and uh, I just like to uh, say thank you again for the support that I got because some of you guys are freaking crazy there are people that literally supported my channel still even though I didn't do crap for like months and months and months and there were people that was like they're still members to this very day which blows my freaking mind my heart really goes out to you guys seriously and my heart also goes out to those of you that's still supports the channel so i look forward to seeing you in the next video or live stream thanks again and god bless you all can't wait to see you until next time peace and god bless